test this fan requested tall tale of the hard boy egg in Coke, let's get things rolling with our resident chemist. What is up you guys? Today we're back with a new myth. <laughs> let's start by outlining our experiment. For this experiment, we will be using hard boiled eggs and Coca-Cola to see if eggshells really dissolve in Coke. First, we will start with five different cups of Coca-Cola. Add one cup each and five hard boiled eggs. We will be splitting this experiment up into five parts. A cup that will be left for one hour, three hours, 12 hours, one day, and one week. Over the course of this week, we will periodically be taking videos to check off if the shell is dissolving. Let's break it down. First, Coca-Cola is made up of six ingredients and has several active ingredients such as caffeine citrate, citric acid, and phosphoric acid. Next, we have our eggs. We prepare these eggs by hard boiling them. This is a process where you drop eggs into boiling water, wait 10 minutes, and then place them into an ice bath. Let's start the experiment. And see if this myth can be busted. <laughs> I'll bust your myth. Yeah. <laughs> Our hypothesis for the following myth is, if eggs are placed in Coca-Cola for different amounts of time, then their shells will dissolve because the phosphoric acid within the Coke will break apart the calcium carbonate bonds within the eggshell. for the one week portion of this experiment. This is the one day I'm going to put the hard boiled egg in the Coke for 24 hours. While we wait for our other eggs to dissolve, we're gonna be doing a spotlight on one of our other eggs. Introducing a little Stanky. <laughs> It has officially been one hour, so I'm going to take the cup with the one hour egg in it and I'm going to see if it really dissolves. Okay. So now judging off that it looks stained and as you can see on the top it like cracked a little bit. So it obviously, oh, there's some. It has now been three hours, so I'm going to take the three hour egg. After taking the three hour egg out of the cup. It is noticeable that it is cracked on the sides and um, it is stained. It has now been 12 hours. I put the egg in at 11.35 a.m. and I'm taking it out at 11.35 p.m. Um, it has like spots on it and there's like lines. Now I will be taking out the egg after being in the coke for one day. And the shell is slightly stained, but it's whole. The agreement is to place the hard boiled egg into the cool And now I'll be taking the egg out. The egg has turned a uh, 
brown color and the color is easily coming off just by rubbing on it. The shell is still intact and there are some pieces strained into the strainer. Let's get back to Miss Buster. Let's talk data. We're gonna be discussing the experiment where we put the egg in the coke for a different amount of times. The egg started off like this, and it ended up like this. Psych! You, you guys got schemed. <laughs> Let's go over our data table. So first, we had the one hour. And our observations for this were that the shell was slightly brown, but not entirely. And also, it was slightly larger and heavier. And did it dissolve? No. <laughs> Next, we'll be moving on to three hours. The shell turns light brown, it got bigger in size, and it weighed more than before. But did the egg shell dissolve? No! <laughs> Next, we had 12 hours. In this one, the shell got a lot more brown. It actually had small cracks, and it was significantly larger now. But did the egg shell dissolve? <laughs> no. <laughs> then we'll be moving on to one day. In one day, the shell got a lot darker, it had a lot more cracks, and it also became heavier. Did the shell dissolve? Partially. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, we had our one week egg. The shell was um, a dark brown, it had lots of cracks, and it was very heavy. Did it dissolve? Partially. <laughs> <laughs> Let's analyze our data table. Okay, so as seen, the egg shells did not fully dissolve in the end, but they did partially. Although, the shells did have a color change from white to brown. In addition to this, some of the shells that were in the coke for longer amounts of time had cracks in them. Also, the eggs became a lot heavier and larger in size. Oh hey, didn't see that. Just catching up on some light reading. But it's time to get down to the cold hard facts of what really happened to the experiment of the egg dissolved in Coca-Cola. Now, our hypothesis stated that the eggshell would eventually dissolve. And the data proves that we were right! Our one week experiment of the egg submerged into the Coca-Cola proves that the eggshell was eventually starting to dissolve. Now, if we carried on this experiment, it would show that the eggshell would completely dissolve inside of the Coca-Cola. Now, what's the science behind all of this? Well, phosphoric acid inside the Coca-Cola is the reactant that actually dissolves the, ca the calcium carbonate inside the eggshells. Well, you could say that this myth was busted, or can I say the egg was scrambled? Why don't you catch us next week as we check out if the if MacGyver in the TV show MacGyver actually could stop an acid leak with a candy bar? Well, tune in next week on MythBusters.